Hey, welcome to Let's Play Guitar. Today we are checking out how to play Tenor Riff C by Ed Sheeran. It's a beautiful, beautiful song. And um, if you want to know how to play more songs that I've done for Ed Sheeran, you can check out the complete playlist over here or go to my channel. And this song um, requires a change in tuning for only one string, all right? So uh, first what you want to do is the tuning that's going on in this song is E, A, D, then E again. So instead of G, you've got to tune it down to E. So you can do it with a tuner or you can match it with your first string because that's also an E or the top string is also E, right? So the third string has got to be E. All these three notes are E. And then the second string is obviously your B, B note, all right? So after you do that, you want to then put a capo on the fourth fret. So put a capo on the fourth fret and we are ready to go. Let's see how to play the intro of the song, which also goes for the verse. So let's see how to play uh, the first part. It goes like this. So you gotta do this three times and then you move over here. So let's see how to play that beginning part. You wanna have your middle finger and keep it on the second fret of the fourth string, all right? And we're gonna use our top string to play with my thumb. And then what you wanna do is you wanna pick the fourth string, the third string, then again the fourth string. So I'm doing this with these two fingers over here, all right? So go. Then with your middle finger, you can play the B string open, all right? Okay. You want to bring your thumb over here when you, after the sixth string, you want to do it over here because that makes things very easier. Instead of going like this, you know, you want to bring your thumb down, okay? That makes things easier. So that's what you have. Then you already know what I did, the difference in the second time. I just put my index finger on the second fret of the, of the top string, right? And the rest is the same, so you got, right, once again. After that, what you wanna do is, okay, that's the first part. So playing the fifth string open, my middle finger is still over there where it was earlier. So, and then four, three, four, three. Okay, strings five, four, three, four, three. Okay, so from the beginning. And then, after that, what you wanna do is, you wanna do a hammer on and pull off. Um, so that's with your ring finger, okay? You gotta do it with your ring finger on the second string, open to second, and then back, pull off, like this. All right, so let's see what's happening from the beginning. After that, once again, let's me do it slowly once again. Do this with your middle finger and then you want to do this one more time okay after the pull off you want to do four three four two okay that completes your uh, little, little part over there that i uh, played in the beginning once again let's take it from the very beginning So when you play it at normal speed, right? Now you gotta do this three times, all right? So one, two, three. You gotta stop over here. Okay, stop over here. And then what you want to do is. Okay, so 
that's what we're doing so what we're doing is you want to have your index finger on the fourth fret okay so one two three four of the fifth string and you want to have your ring finger on the sixth fret of the fourth string all right so you play the fifth string you play the third string okay then you play the fourth string and then second string open so okay so you are not doing this okay this is the right hand we were doing earlier you're simply doing okay and not this just right and then what you want to do is so the right hand is the same let's talk about the left hand you got your fingers on the second fret of the fifth and fourth strings okay right hand is the same right so you get and then right you do this four times that's the ending uh, so what you want to do is you just want to have your second finger on the fourth string and you do five four three four two right five four three four two five four you do it four times and you you want to um, slow down the intensity with which you pick all right you will just want to like fade it away like this like this and then you start with whatever we have learned one more time right so you have the intro and the verse covered now let me play it for, from the beginning and show you uh, just how it goes Start singing. You look so wonderful. Mm -hmm. Now, in the verse, you know, you just want to do this two times. The very ending, which I was talking about, you just want to let it fade away. This we were doing four times in the very beginning, but in the verse, you just gotta do it two times because then you start singing the next four lines for the verse and then um, you start repeating this, right? The whole thing, right? Only two times, right? end and then you go to the pre-chorus of the song so let's see how to play that all right now let's see how to play the pre-chorus if you understood how to play the verse and you know the basic technique that this song requires and the pre-chorus is very simple for you i'll be repeating the same kind of uh, you know chord shapes so it goes something like this da, da, da. So what we're doing is we are changing three chord shapes. The first one is our, um, you already know the first one, uh, which where you have your second finger on the second fret of the fourth string, right? So what you want to do is you want to play a five, four, three, four, two, okay? And then just put your second fret on the fifth string same right hand okay so you have and then then you just move your ring finger on the fourth fret of the fourth string right and do the same thing you do this two times all right so from the beginning you have and then and then Okay, so here I'm doing five, three, four, two, five, three, four, two. I'm skipping the fourth one. All right, so you got da, 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 two twice. All right, and then again. Da, 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 
One more time. Da, 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 da. Okay, doing two times, and then you want to do. Mm. That's the very end. Like I told you, like we did in the verse as well. We just fade, fade it away in, during the very end. You want to do this. What we're doing is we're playing this string twice. Okay. Uh, now I'm not necessarily going to uh, speak out the string number because I hope you can see clearly which string I'm picking because it gets kind of confusing for me sometimes, right? So you pick this string twice and then you do this, this, and this. So here you've got your three, four, and two. Okay, so four, four, three, four, two. Four times, just fade it away, right? Play, play it you know, lightly. Okay, so let's take it from the beginning. You've got one more time. Three, four. So when love go to the chorus of the song. All right, let's see how to play the chorus now. The chorus. You don't need to learn if you've already learned the intro. It's the same as our verse and our intro. Exact same thing. Nothing is changing at all. All right, so let me just play it for you. So in love. Two. Three. Go over here. same thing I played the same thing as our intro and our verse right and then you go to um, the next verse of the song after the second verse which is the same as our first verse you go to the second pre-chorus same as the first pre-chorus then you go to the chorus same as in the first chorus obviously and then you go to the bridge of the song right so we're gonna jump into the bridge uh, let's see how to play that Okay, now the bridge, it goes something like this. It's pretty simple. And we're using the same technique, same, you know, um, chord shapes as we've done before, but in different order. So it starts like this. Repeating it, okay. So what we're doing is we start with this shape, second fret and fourth and sorry, fourth fret and sixth fret. You already know what um, the shape is, and you do the same strum, a big pattern, five, four, three, four, two, okay, five, four, three, four, two, okay, one, two. Only two times, all right? One, two, then come over here. This is our basic, the first one, second fret over here, and do it. Do the same right hand, same picking hand, two times. Okay, so from the beginning. Okay, then come over here. Second fret on the fifth string as well, and second fret on the fourth string as well, and do the same right hand five, four, three, four, two. Okay, so from the beginning, five, four, three, four, two. Come over here, come over here, and come over here. So, here, what you do is the second fret and fourth fret, all right? So, same right hand, okay. And then the next time, go back to this shape, back to this shape, open position, then go straight to two and four, okay? Then not doing this, go straight over here, and you do it four times, one, two, three, four. Okay, that completes your bridge, basically, because you repeat this segment three times, right? So let's take it from the beginning. Straight over here. One, two, three, four. Repeat. 
second and second second and four back to this back to open straight to two and four two, three four and once again you do it three times the segment right after that you go back to the pre-chorus lines but the difference is that you play um, you don't play the same pre-chorus that we played during the after the verse okay you play chord shapes and here for the first one it goes something like this back to the chorus okay so what we're doing is the first chord shape is this open on the fifth second on the fourth open on the third the second chord shape is open on the sixth second on the fifth second on the fourth okay play it all three of them together so from the beginning after that the third chord shape is you just have a bar over here uh, you want your second on the fifth, fourth on the fourth, and then second again on the third. Okay, so from the beginning. Once again. Again. Okay, and then. In the end, you would do. Um, the same thing uh, second and four over here and five four three four two again okay, do this four times three four and you go to the chorus again the final chorus of the song the final chorus is this so in love so in love you repeat it so in love so Right, so what we're doing over here is same thing, um, open position over here, second fret over here, and same picking that we did earlier, and then uh, second fret, and then open twice, and you repeat it, okay? So that's uh, like a short version of uh, the chorus. Repeat it. end on the fifth string open okay so end like that right now there's some background guitar being played uh, which goes like this okay so I'll get to that later but let me just show you what's happening after um, this chorus so that we can end the song after that um, you repeat the same uh, thing again for the last few lines of the song which is the same as uh, our verse lines okay just repeat it and you end the song over here right just end it on the fifth string that's how you end the song. That's what's happening to the very end of the song. Let me just show you the um, this in the very end of the chorus. This is coming. You got a bar on second fret or the fifth and fourth strings. You got your fourth fret on the third string, and you play five four three five four three. You come over here, second fret on the fifth string, first fret on the fourth string, and second fret again on the fourth on the third string, and you play the same things five four three five four three. And then fifth string is open, second fret on the B string, second string, and open on the first string. And you play it twice. Sorry, four times, all right? So. Right? Repeat it. 
that's the background guitar being played so that is all for the song I, I think we have covered all the parts that there are for this song i hope you learned it i hope you like this lesson as well and if you did like it then please make sure to give this video a like i appreciate all of your support and make sure to subscribe to my channel as well if you are new and check out my facebook page and check out my uh, patreon page all the links will be down below i will see you guys next time in the next lesson till then goodbye